How are we doing folks? Welcome back to another film on what is possibly the hottest day ever ever known to man <laughs> No, it's warm, what's it showing? It's showing, well, 32 but it, were, uh, it actually got up to 40 in the car before which is ridiculous Anyway we're going photographing barn owls well, we're hoping to go and photograph barn owls that's the plan so we're off to a local local farm, the local permission that I've got now, a mate of mine, he put a barn owl box up here last year and we watched and watched and watched and then eventually we saw a bit of activity and we started seeing pellets and we knew then that the, uh, they'd moved in so I'm going to show you what we did um, it's, not a, it's not an ideal location really, it's a funny one because there's a public footpath runs right next to the barn it couldn't it just couldn't be any closer but we can deal with that that's fine um i actually inquired about the scheduling you know because barn owls are, are schedule one listed and you're not allowed to photograph them at the nest unless you have a schedule one license and we decided that once the once the chicks were up and about, you know, nearly adult size, and they were flying about, it it didn't come under that uh, that scenario where you need the schedule one because it's away from the nest and it's a busy spot. It's a re you know it's a it's a busy area where they are. So you know we keep the distance and everything's good in that respect. So we're going to head off down there now. We're going to set the car up as a hide and we're hopefully hopefully gonna get some pictures of these young ones and the adults maybe coming back with prey not seen a lot of that to be honest so the youngsters they're uh, they're fully fully feathered up and they're flying about they're all over the place so all being well we'll get some images and we're on the new uh, the, we're on the new OM system, obviously the OM1 with the 140 to sorry the 150 to 400. You get them mixed up. Um, so yeah, yeah, we'll see how that copes. Fingers crossed, we'll get some images. Catch you in a bit. That is the barn where the owls are hopefully going to come out of later on. Now they're roosting in another part of the building, so we're away from the nest box. But these are uh, sub adult juveniles, you know, they're, they're fully fledged, they're fully grown, and they're flying around. So, what we did uh, last year when the box went up before the owls even arrived, that big door there, you can see, there we go, we put a half door in. Now, the idea behind that was that, you know, when the owls came out or they, they came, they something to actually perch on because it's it's i don't know it's just a it's a strange opening that it's just nice to see them perched on something when they uh before they fly out of the barn so we'll have a wander down and we'll show you what we put up on the other side as well so as i was saying it's a it's quite an unusual sight this because where the barn is, there's a public footpath runs right down the side of it, so in one respect it's a good thing because the, the owls are they're used to activity, they're used to people just walking past, so that kind of plays in our favour. So, we're at the other end of the structure now, so as you can see there, that's the other opening. Big full-size opening there, and a little bit closer. So what we did, you can see, here we go, <laughs> that beam, we put that beam in and put a few sleepers down there so that if the, if the owls did come to this side of the barn that they would hopefully perch on that. Now I came down last night and I managed to get a few nice shots last night just parked in, 
in here where the farmer parks his car and sat there and I got some I got some lovely images of a pair of young young barn owls so that was that was fantastic and we've got all this this lovely greenery growing up there that was just that's just natural naturally growing it's not something we've put there so it just adds a, a bit of something else to the images so there we go we look down there now there's the car what we're going to do now we're just going to make sure we've got our positioning right just the car if necessary we should be all right to be honest and then we're going to get the windows down get the bean bags on get the camo nets on and hopefully we'll get some pictures so let's get cracking That's the that's the car camoed up. I'm not trying to hide the car. I'm never going to hide the damn thing, am I? It's just it's just a case of subduing it, really. It's just kind of you know it's it, it's a silver car and uh, it stands out a bit. So it's just an idea just to put the camo net over it, just to give it a little bit of uh, you know just break up the outline of it, really. That's what we're that's what we're going to be shooting towards. We've kept this this bit of. Uh, you know this all the nettles and the thistles kind of crop down a little bit and also put a couple of posts in i know they have been spotted where they've been landing on that stone wall they literally fly all over this all over the place they could go anywhere you know we've had we've had wrens landing on here which is nice they've landed on that stone wall they've also flown out and they've gone into the the other barn through them where the uh, the metal covers are on the old gates they've got they've gone in there so we just don't know it's uh, it's an unknown entity where they're gonna <laughs> where they're gonna fly, but hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we're uh, we're gonna see them out here tonight. It'd be it'd be absolutely superb to see. And there we are. <laughs> to see a few of them sat on there. I think we think there's four four juveniles in there, and uh, it'd be fantastic to have them all in a row. I mean, I know that's far too much to ask, but you never know, dear. You? you never know what's gonna happen. So we're gonna set the camera up now. Just um, what time are we on? We're on. Ah, it's only seven o'clock. I mean, we've been spotting them come out. I don't know about half past eight. So we've another another good hour and a bit yet before there's going to be a bit of action. I think what we what we can do is we can listen for for owls. You can they make a right row once they start coming out. They start. You know they're banging about, they're flapping up there. They're, you know they're they're stretching their wings and um, exercising them, getting them. You know, getting the muscles built up and that. And they do make quite a noise to barn owls when they're uh, when they've just fledged. So that's something to listen out for. And uh, yeah, it's just a just a waiting game now. So hopefully, hopefully we'll get something. They're all set up now, ready to go. As I said before, I've I've looked at every single perch or the most likely areas where where these birds might land. I mean, they might not even come out of the barn. Um, I'm not sure whether the the juveniles or the or the adults, to be honest, because it's very difficult to tell them apart. Well, I can't tell them apart. But this this video, it's more of a it's more of a lesson in kind of forward thinking. You know, we saw this, the potential of this site ages ago, you know, probably 18 months ago uh, when the when the box went up and, you know, there was nothing in there at the time. But, you know, it's been a long, long wait, but it's paid off. 
and you know putting them half doors in putting the half door in this front end and putting that beam in at the back and it's starting to pay dividends so it was a wise move and also I mean putting that half door in it kind of protects the the structure as well because weather was getting in and it was you know damaging the the beams so um, yeah double uh, it kind of served another purpose as well so yeah we're just uh, it's a waiting game now but I'm liking the OM1 yeah I'm, uh, I'm pretty impressed with it someone had a, a dig at me on YouTube the other day <laughs> they said uh, oh they were slagging me off for, for selling out to the uh, to the OM Corporation and that they'd be offering me an ambassadorship and that I'd be telling everyone how good it were and uh, but I'll tell you now I don't have any brand loyalty to anybody if this does the job I'll endorse it and I'll tell you how good it is and if it's crap I'll tell you I don't like it like I did with the Z6 II you know I bought that and I lost money on it and uh, I'm never happy about that but it wasn't right for me so you know, we're trying something different, aren't we? And like I said, if it don't work out, we'll change. I'll go to another brand or try try something different. But up to now, you know, I've I've not used anywhere near all the um, all the facilities on it. You know, the pro capture, and uh, you know, I'm just kind of getting into the video side of it. But I haven't done a right lot with it, to be honest. Um, just been just been really busy lately. So there's some swallows knocking about. I might even have a do at them. You never know. But um, yeah, up to now it, it's it's all right. I mean, when you th it's just the it's the firepower that you've got in such a small package. You know, I've got three hundred to a thousand millimeter in one lens, and uh, you know some of the images I've got. I know there's going to be issues with you know depth of field. You don't get as much depth of field with micro four thirds. Everyone knows that. But if I were doing just hide work all the time. I'd have stuck with Nikon and I'd have had my big primes, but I'm not. I'm doing other stuff. I'm getting out and about. I'm on the bike. I'm on the canoe. You know, and I need I need to condense things a bit. Vloggers out there will know the amount, especially wildlife vloggers, the amount of kit you've got to take with you. You know, I'm on a I'm on the Canon M50 mirrorless setup here. I've got GoPros. I've got batteries, and you've got to take all that with you. You know, to produce anything like a decent film drones extra batteries then you've got all your camping you name it you you carry it and if you can you know get your get your main kit down to you know just that smaller that smaller package with with one lens you know you've kind of cracked it so at the moment we're getting some decent results and i'm happy with it so happy days so yeah if you're gonna have a pop at me don't bother all right because you'll get it back <laughs> Starting to cool down a bit now. I can't. I couldn't believe it before though when I came out and it was. Look, I've chopped all my hair off. It's in that hot. What my grandma would call a bosch crop. I don't know what a bosch crop is, but that's one apparently. Yeah, it's just too hot. Cooling down tomorrow. It's just lovely to be out in it. And if we get a picture of these barnies, well, it's a complete bonus. Always nice to see a barn owl.